winter is just around the corner and that means you need to be making some changes to your beauty routine. Here with her best tips is beauty editor Jessica Kroll. Hi, now today you could really be mistaken for thinking it is winter in New York City. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so cold today in yeah. New York, but that's okay because I've bought some of my personal favorites for you guys so that you can get your skin ready for the winter. So you can help us cope. Okay, let's yes. start at the beginning. I know you brought sort of a magical serum. Yes, so after you wash your face with a hydrating moist uh, cleanser, you wanna move to a serum. Now usually you go for something with the gel, brightening serum or retinol or something like that. But this I love, it's Peter Thomas Roth. It's an oilless oil and it has, it's 100% squalene. Interesting. And the squalene, it's like an oil, but it absorbs almost immediately. And it's actually found naturally in your skin, but it slowly deteriorates as we age. So you want to replenish this as much as possible. I don't like the word deteriorate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it deteriorates, yes. unfortunately, like most things. Uh -huh. But this will help you get that moisture you want back. So it's, it's really light, and it's great for a primer before your makeup. And you recommend pairing this with a cream. Yes, you want to seal in all this moisture you've gotten from the serum with a cream. My favorite right now is Kiehl's Multi Corrective Cream. It is thick and it is what you really need for this dry air because as soon as you step outside, the dry air is going to suck all the moisture from your skin. But this Kiehl's cream is going to protect you and keep that moisture in where you want it. Now, are there any sort of treatments that you recommend for your face? I definitely recommend something at night. Night okay. cream or what I love to do is an Origins Drink Up Mask. Now, this mask is basically you put it on, you dab a little bit of excess and then you go to sleep in it and any flakes or red patches will really be soothed by this moisturizing uh, mask. That's great for the face. Well, let's switch gears and talk body. Okay, yes, because it's not all about our faces. <laughs> so another area that really gets dry this time of year with the cold weather are our hands. Mm -hmm. And I personally am loving this Organic Dr. Manuka Honey Hand and Nail Cream because the honey is known in New Zealand for its moisturizing properties and its antibacterial properties. So it's really good at sealing in that moisture on your hands and you put your gloves on, it'll keep those nails nice and no cracked hands or peeling cuticles, that's not what you want. Um, but this will solve that, so. Awesome. Now some people really suffer from different sort of skin ailments. What do you recommend for people who might need a more serious body approach. Exactly. This time of year is also that time when eczema, psoriasis kind of flare up. Yeah. And even if you just have dry elbows and knees and you need a little something extra, I recommend getting your oatmeal. So go in your cupboard, get your oatmeal and grind it up into a kind of a powder and add it to your bath. Maybe Great. one cup to your bath water. This will, it has uh, pH balancing properties, it's antibacterial, it helps with the itch. I mean, the opportunities are endless. It seems to do it all. It does do it all. And you just put a splash of milk maybe just to have up your Cleopatra factor like a little that. bit. And that is what really gonna get rid of that um, dry flaky patches on your knees and elbows and it'll soften your skin almost immediately. Great, and then after that, you recommend cream as well. Of course, and one of my favorites, you can't be a classic, this Nivea cream in the blue jar. Everyone knows about it, I think, but it has that mineral oil and the petro petrolatum, which is gonna seal in moisture. It's not gonna take moisture away from you. It's gonna lock it all in and create that protective bar barrier on your arm, so like, or wherever you put it. <laughs> and so you're gonna keep that moisture that you need in, in the dry air and liquid and anything you have around isn't gonna steal it. Protective barrier, we do like. <laughs> yes, we want to be protected from the cold weather. And finally, one of the most irritating skin things during winter is when you get chapped lips. This is my personal issue. Um, <laughs> chap lips are a serious problem during this time of the year. Mm -hmm. And my go-to is this Elizabeth Arden eight hour lip balm. The eight hour cream is known by celebrities to be a favorite because it is so moisturizing. So the fact that they've made this intensive treatment just for your lips is a godsend. Yeah. I mean, really, I've used it so much that the labels kind of uh, worn away, so <laughs> don't tell. But that's one of my favorites for this time of year for chapped lips. Maybe do a scrub with some sugar and some olive oil, slap that on, and you're good. Awesome, thanks. Well, with your help, we might be able to get through winter. Hey, hopefully you will. <laughs>